Welcome everybody, this is Johnny Hunkins for Mopar Muscle Magazine and today we are here at Kenny Bell Performance in Rancho Cucamonga, California and we're going to be testing today a device called a booster pump. Now a booster pump is a piece of equipment that will increase the capacity of your fuel pump so that when you put a supercharger kit or a turbo kit or something on your uh, late model uh, fuel injected muscle car you'll be able to satisfy the fuel demand of the engine without upgrading to bigger injectors bigger fuel lines bigger fuel rails you know uh, fuel lines I mean it can be very expensive if you're if you're trying to uh, bump up your horsepower and a lot of guys uh, are buying scat packs and and putting supercharger kits on on them to uh, get to the level of Hellcat. So we're going to actually um, test the booster pump system here today. Uh, there's a very elaborate um, flow bench set up here at Kenny Bell Performance, and Ken Chrisley is with us. He's going to uh, demonstrate what we've got. Ken, why don't you open up this lid right here and show everybody the pump that we have in here? This pump is going to be operating at 60. PSI. It's immersed in a um, petroleum solution similar to gasoline for t testing. And uh, our first test is going to be uh, what is the fuel delivery going to be at the stock rated 60 PSI? We're going to start with our baseline to tune it to 13, 13 volts, 13 point what, 5? Yeah. 13.6 volts because the flow of the fuel pump is dependent on the voltage that's the whole point of the booster pump and you can see on the large screen here um, what we have explain these numbers that we're seeing here Ken okay. with fuel flow and liters per hour is right around 200 it looks like right that's uh, that's right now currently at this pressure setting which I'm gonna bump that up just a little bit you can see it's only running 55 pounds now so I'm going to set it at about 60, which is what the scat pack will operate at. Okay. And so... Crank you, that sucker up. Yep, to do that, I will adjust this to get 60. The idea is to check the flow at a specific pressure. So ideally you want more flow at a given pressure. A pump that doesn't flow as much at a given pressure is not going to support as much horsepower. And uh, as we've seen you raise that number there, we actually have seen this fuel flow in leads per hour drop off a bit. It's kind of in the uh, 180 to 190 range. Yes, because as you increase the pressure, the actual flow rate will drop. When the they pump. go in opposite directions. Yeah, you you have to pay Peter, Rob Peter, to pay Paul yes. with a fuel pump. That's the deal that you make. So now you can see main pressure holding steady right at about 60 psi and then you see the fuel flow of the stock scat pack pump running right about 190 liters per hour alrighty guys so this chart right here is a spreadsheet that represents what kind of power that this particular pump is going to be supporting you can see uh, the program has the 190 liters per hour that converts over to 3.2 liters per minute, 50.2 gallons per hour, 0.8 gallons per minute, 326.5 pounds per hour. That's for the full whole pump. Uh, 5.4 pounds per minute. Now, however you use the calculation, what you really want to know is over here, that pump is going to support, at this 60 PSI rating, 594 engine horsepower and 505 rear wheel horsepower. Now that is based on the flow meter uh, that they have tested this on. They've tested it on the dyno so they know they know exactly with this flow meter they've used it on the engine on the chassis dyno so so they have a very accurate estimation here. So that's our baseline. So now we're gonna go in and swap the um, we're going to swap the pump over to the Hellcat pump now and see what that one will put out. Now we're going to pull out the scat pack pump from the, the test tub and we're going to put in the Hellcat pump.
Well, we have the Hellcat fuel pump in the test container and it's running and Ken is actually adjusting the pressure um, with this valve right here and Ken I want to to show people when how the, when you change the pressure the fuel flow goes in the opposite direction so if you would just turn the pressure down okay okay he's turning it way down now look at that now the fuel flow liters per hour is way up like almost 500 but you know your actual your actual uh, horsepower is not that's not your actual number there you're actually going to want to check it at 60 psi so go ahead and and crank it back up gradually and you can see the higher he turns the pressure the lower the fuel flow goes so he's almost at 60 almost at 60 you got to kind of sneak it up there. All right. It's pretty darn close, Ken. So it looks like we're at 300 and 60. Oh, thereabouts, maybe a little higher, lower, about 360 liters per hour. Mm -hmm. So here are our flow results with the Hellcat pump. Uh, you'll remember the Scat Pack pump was about 190 liters per hour up there now uh, hellcat is 355 and if we move over here to the end of the graph you can see that it will support uh, 1109 engine horsepower and 943 horsepower to the tire and um, there's a lot more data in here on the screen but for the purposes of showing you what the pump can do that's the main number that you want to look at so right right at 1100 horsepower there so now what we want to do is put the scat pack pump back in and we're going to hook it up to the booster pump and we're going to see how close we can come to the hellcat output while keeping the scat pack pump So now we've got the scat pack pump hooked back up again and we've got the pressure set right around 60 psi and in a typical ABA testing you can see we're right back to about 190 pounds per hour which was what it was before. So now it's time to turn on the booster pump and this will increase the voltage to the pump increasing its output and the pressure is going to jump right away and then we're going to actually readjust the pressure back down uh, again to 60 psi so we've made our adjustments to the pressure so that it'll be the same and if you look up up there at the top voltage that's what the voltage is coming into the booster pump and then underneath it you can see uh, it, it's putting out 17 uh, volts to the pump and that's running the pump at a uh, higher speed and putting out a lot more fuel. So you'll remember that the under the stock conditions with the standard voltage of 13 and a half, it was putting out 190 liters per hour at 60 pounds per square inch. Right now, it's right around 320 to 330 in that range with the pressure holding steady. That's 60 PSI. So, started out at 190 liters per hour, and this, and the Hellcat pump was 355 liters per hour so we're we're darn close to Hellcat territory just by adding the booster pump to the scat pack pump so there you have it I mean you got a lot more capability without even going into your fuel tank and changing out the pumps or putting in bigger injectors or a bigger line or anything like that it just wires right up uh, to your battery and yeah, this pressure activated with your boost so it's not actually running at the high 
voltage the entire time just while you're on the boost so uh, you're going to save your pump it's not going to have any problems you can have a normal life expectancy so that's the Kenny Bell booster pump